You can see if the blood seeps out around him, he's dead. He's not dead. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome back to Resident Evil HDB Master. In the last part, we got another key. I think it's the armor key. It doesn't tell you, it's just called the mansion key. So as you can see, that's our new key. The old key that we had, we discarded it because we unlocked all the doors that you can unlock with it. So that we freed up some inventory space with that. And just before I got in this room, hang on, before we leave, I'm going to save. <laughs> because I was going to say, before we entered this room, there was all doors banging. Like, there was the doors where the dogs were, they were banging, and there was all, I heard like a door smash down as we entered this room. So, um, it sounds like it's quite dangerous outside this room now, in the corridors. So, we're going to save. Alright, so we're going to try and go out now and open up some doors that we haven't unlocked before with this new key. But I'm a bit worried to, uh, about ent about leaving this room now because of what I heard before I came in. <laughs> it was mainly upstairs. Um, okay, there's a new zombie there. Oh god, I was trying to get past him. Okay, give him a knife to the head. I think that was our last knife. I'm trying to save up on the ammo as well. Um, okay. I think we've been in here. I think this is where the broken shotgun was. Just quickly have a little check. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah. So we can go back out. I, I've never been so lost in a video game. So we've used the mansion key. So this must have been the, the new key. Well, it, it's got to be because it's the only key that we've got. I don't think it was uh, one of the ones where you unlock it from the other side because we checked this before and it wouldn't open. Yeah, this is definitely a new room. So we've got a stun um, battery there. So this is used as a defensive item, similar to the knife. It's just another, it's just an alternative. So, this is all new. And there's some rattling. So there's a knife there. Yep. Dagger. That noise, what's that? So let's check this door out. I suppose I should check out the map more often as well, to see where I am. You know, it's, it's not even getting lost. So if you open up the map, whoa, okay. So there's a door, okay, that's the wrong button. There's a door to the right of the typewriter item box room. It's got an X on it. I think that means we can't go in there anymore. I think that's where the trap was, where the, the roof came down. But all the red doors, they're the ones that are we've tried and are locked. And the blue ones are ones that we've been through. So we should probably check some of the red doors because we've got a new key now, so they might not be locked anymore. But what is this new room we're in? There's an inscription here. A tiger glowing with blue and yellow light. Um, I mean, we've got, we've got a blue gemstone in the chest. Maybe that's used to put inside the line. Maybe if we get a yellow gemstone, we'll know for sure that that's where they go. But for now, we'll have to leave that there. This is a weird, weird mansion. It doesn't make any sense. Like, it's just a puzzle mansion, isn't it? You know, I don't think anyone actually lives here. Did we check this way? No, we didn't. Okay, we're going to carry on going this way first, because we started this way. There's another door here. Oh, there's so many doors. I mean, this game isn't scary in the way of, like, it's it's scary to look at and it jumps. It's just the unknown, unknown, you know, that scares you. There's a pistol ammo there. I may as well pick it up. You know, I've got a few slots there. Whoa, hello. Okay, there's a table. Keeper's Diary. Play poker tonight with Scott and Elias from security and Steve from research. Steve was a big winner, but I think he was cheating a scumbag. <laughs> One of the higher ups assigned me to take care of a new creature. It looks like a skinned gorilla. Feeding instructions were given to it live. Give, we give we're to give it live animals. Excuse me. When I threw in a pig, the creature seemed to play with it, tearing off the pig's legs and pulling out the guts before it actually started eating. Ugh. At around 5am, how long is this? This is a long, long, long thing. I'm not going to read all this, sorry guys. Itchy tasty. <laughs> it's the guy who wrote this in the cupboard. Shall I even like, open the cupboard? Okay. Take his head off. Um, there's a battery thing in there. I think I just I just shot him there just because 
He was in my face, you know? It sounded like the other guy got up. Yeah, he did. Um, see if we can get around this guy. Hopefully, maybe. No, screw it. I'm gonna shoot him in the head. He didn't die. Shit. Oh, we got round him though. So they kind of wasted a clip, a bolt there. And um, there's not enough else to be found in here, I don't think. So we got some pistol ammo and a stun battery. So I think we've got two stun batteries now and a knife. So we have got a few defensive items, which is good. Let's reload the shotgun. That's probably going to free up our ammo slot now as well, because we've got no more shells. I want to be careful not to use this too much. So we unlock this door with the new key. That's good. Okay. Back here again, are we? Um, Trying to figure out where to go. I think we should head back to the hall. And then... Um, you know, check out the doors. I think there was a few doors in the hall that were locked. But before we head there, guys, I'm just going to go on a quick detour and pick up some ink. Because um, we're near it. Oh, get off me. Actually, screw it. Alright, guys, I didn't go get the ink because um, I can't be bothered. <laughs> I'll go and get it when I really need to save. I'm sure we've got enough saves anyway. So we're going to head back to the hall. And I think there was a door maybe on the top level. And there's definitely one on the ground that is locked. I'm not sure if we got the right key for it though. So here, there's a door over here that we've never been through. So it's still locked. That's the emblem of a helmet. Um. So let's check... We've definitely used that door. There's another door, I think, on this side. Okay, so we've unlocked that door. That's good. So we're still exploring new areas. We're not completely stuck just yet on what to do. Although we are encountering a lot more zombies. Um, maybe we should switch out for the pistol at some point as well. Because um, this shotgun's going to run out of ammo at some point. I want to save it for like important encounters, you know? A table made of glass, yeah, but there's a pistol clip there. Isn't there? Yes. Pick it up because it's going to stack with the other one, so we've got nothing to lose there. And I feel like there might be some dogs out here because it's outdoors, you know? Um, can we go out there? Oh! Grenade launcher. It's a stars member. Who is it? So I'm guessing the yeah the acid shells must be used with this for sure. Um, there's a there's a dagger on the bench as well. That's good. Now who is this? It looks like a female. Forrest has given up the ghost. It looks like he's been dead for a while. Okay, so we never even got to see that guy. Some herbs over here. Oh shit. That sounds like Forrest has gotten up. Time to shoot him. I'm gonna shoot him in the head, I think. Missed! Quick, pick, pick up these quick. He might not be dead. I just wanna pick these up and get out of here. I had to shoot them there to um, kind of save my own ass there. I wouldn't have got past him. I guess we could have used a defensive item. Oh well, I've shot him. So, we... I've only got two shots left in the shotgun now. So I'm going to put this shotgun back, I think. Just because I feel like we might need it at some point. Alright, so... We've explored this doorway. We didn't really find the whole lot. Hang on, look there. Which way did we... We came from that way. Can we go beyond it? No. Alright, so back into the hall. Got the grenade launcher from there, that's it. Need to find where to go next again. Sounds like a zombie. I think we're just gonna have to try out a few um a few corridors that we've been before, but maybe there was locked doors. Because I've, I've I don't have a a clear path in my head now of where we're meant to be going. So we're gonna head back. 
see. We've unlocked a new door now. I've only got two shots on me with the shotgun. I really need to get to a chest and get a pistol out. Because this isn't too too smart. Richard. Who's this? Richard? Who the hell is Richard? You're wounded. This whole place is a killing zone. There are monsters. What did this to you? A big snake. Oh shit. And it had to be poisonous. Poisonous? Richard, hold on. Bring me serum. I saw some, but didn't bring any. I'll go and get it, okay? You're gonna make it. Thanks. So it looks like we've run back to the hall. Or the corridor that we were in, anyway. Okay, so there's some serum. That's the chest room where um, the typewriter is. Still gonna head back there. Um, I think it's this way, right? Yeah, it's it's above the um, the dining room, through a door down the stairs. I think. <laughs> so if we come down the stairs, no, obviously it's upstairs. Come across. So we got attacked by a big snake. That doesn't sound like it's going to be a fun fight. Um, zombies right there, pain in the arse. I think it's the favourite door we need to go through. So we're going to have to go for a long walk around here. I wonder if there's enough ammunition to kill every zombie, like every enemy in the game. It probably is. I mean, because there's limited ammo. It's not like modern games where... You know, you'll always find new ammo and start a new level with new ammo. You know, this is just a big open world. Right, so, okie dokie. This is a pain. Um, do I shoot him in the face? Do I shoot him in the face? Um, let's shoot him in the face. That's what we're going to have to. I right, didn't shoot him in the face, but he fell down. I wish you could stomp on heads. I, I, I think he's dead, actually. Seems to be bleeding. So let's go downstairs. Oh, I can hear zombies. Um, way hello. It looks like this one's been. I'm not I'm trying to get to the door. <laughs> so we can save in here. We can get the serum. We can switch the shotgun out for a pistol. We can do quite a few things. Um, let's do the inventory stuff first. So, I don't think we've taken any damage, have we? So, let's put this away until we... I'm going to save this definitely for a boss encounter because just shooting a um, a grenade launcher at a zombie is going to be a massive waste, I feel. So, let's put the shotgun away. I don't know why I've still got the emblem out. I don't know what it's for. I, I think I'll just put it away for now. I mean, we're still finding things to do, aren't we? We're not completely stuck on trying to solve a puzzle or anything. I mean, there's no reason not to carry every pistol bullet, is there? Because they're all stacks. So, um, I mean, look at that. That's a lot of bullets. I feel like I've done quite well to have that many bullets, you know? <laughs> okay, guys, I've just saved, and I've also got my pistol now with all the ammo. Got quite a few defensive items as well, and we've got the key. And this is where the serum is for... What was his name? I can't even remember his name. Will you take the serum? Yes. I don't think I need to remember his name, because he's going to be dead soon. <laughs> yeah. So, we've switched the shotgun out for the pistol, because we only had one shotgun shell left. And we've actually got, like, over 120 pistol bullets now. Um, I should probably equip the pistol. <laughs> that would be smart. So, I'm just going to go with the way I came in. I'm not too sure what which way the other way leads to. As I constantly get lost. Yeah, so we kill that zombie with the shotgun. Go the long way around because the zombie wants a piece of this ass. Um, yeah. 
So the door that we're heading for is just on the other side of the Great Hall. Of the, no, stop calling it the Great Hall. I always do this. Hall. It's just a hall. Now that door leads outside. No, we're going for the other side. Yep. Yeah. It should be the first door in the corridor that leads to the guy who was bitten by the snake. Hopefully he's not a big snake monster. Oh no. I've come the wrong way, haven't I? Yeah. It was the other door upstairs. I'm sure it was this door. It was this door, then the first door in the corridor. Should probably check the map. <laughs> Should start using the map. Yeah, so we're going to the right. Oh, hair right, you know, this one. So he was here. There he is. So we click on him. He doesn't look too good. His arm is destroyed. Look at it. I think we should just stab him in the head. You know, end him. Richard, that's it. He's already dead. What a tragic fate for such a close friend. We've never met him before. Pick up these herbs. Because, you know, you can always do with more herbs in the... In the um, stash. Filling up quite a few slots though, that's the problem. So, is it worth like shooting the guy? <laughs> you know? Ex executing him? Alright, there's another door that we haven't been through. I just want him, um, what's his name, Barry to come back. Hello. It's locked. An emblem of a shield. Okay. So we've got the armor key and the sword. The sword key's been used. Oh god. That was not a good um, escape maneuver right there. Now he's blocking the door at the corridor. And um, we'll probably need to shoot him on the way back. I should have shot him just then, really, because we've got plenty of bullets. It's silly to just not use them. We've got even more bullets now. Got so many bullets. Um. Right, so we can check out. Can we push this? Yeah, I had a feeling we could push that. You can tell the stuff that you can push because it stands out. Okay, before we go down that new um, secret passage, let's check out what we've got here. Oh, there's a zombie there. Okay. So we're going to shoot this guy. Get some good space. No. Go away. Go away. <laughs> Just shoot across the table. God, the aiming is very difficult. Now, I feel he might be dead because he took so many bolts to go down. Normally, yeah, if he was alive, Jill would auto-aim towards him, I think. So there was something in here, wasn't there? Or was there? It's too dark to see much of anything. So maybe we need to get a torch in here. So we moved that... that Cabinet and maybe the guy just locked himself in there because he knew he was gonna die. <laughs> the zombie. Let's see and reload the weapon. So maybe if we got some lights in here. Ah, we've got a lighter, haven't we? I just realized this in it's in the box. Possibly we can bring that here and light the candles and find something useful, you know? But for now, we'll leave here. We'll go out, we'll kill this zombie, and then we'll come out the door and we'll Explore some more. Oh, but he's right in there, isn't he? Sneaky bastard. What a cock. I mean, is he dead now? No, he's not. I mean, that should kill him, right? You can see if the blood seeps out around him, he's dead. He's not dead. I get knocked down. Break it up again. He's dead. Good. Alright, so. Richard's dead. Everyone else is dead. Barry's left us again. We're going to leave it here, guys. And uh, hopefully find some more rooms we can unlock with the new key. And maybe even bring that lighter to that room to try and light some candles. So thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye.